living in California, chances are you may know someone who's been impacted by valley fever. The CDC estimates 20,000 new cases of the infection each year. Right now, there's no vaccine to help prevent it, but there is hope that could change. 23 ABC's Ruby Rivera spoke to a pet pharmaceutical company that's working on a vaccine and tells us how this could eventually help people. It only takes a short amount of time to be exposed to valley fever. That's what happened to Michael, this 11 year old Chihuahua. Since then, it's been an eight year battle for both him and his family, but there could be hope for animals and people everywhere dealing with this illness, all thanks to a vaccine. His results were really, he had like the teeter levels, how they, they met, you know, they check in your blood and his teeter level was a 164, which is really high for a six pound dog. Michael's mom, Kelly Cooley, says just at two years old, Michael the Chihuahua tested positive for valley fever. Since then, the small dog has gone through various fungal medications to battle the infection and lost 23 teeth in the process. Two there, the itty bitty, two there and the four canines and that's it. And, she, and he's, she said, you added so many years by doing that. And we did, he's the health, he got so much better again. And he would not be alive if we hadn't done that because the, will, you know, the infection will kill you. Cooley says Michael caught the illness in the backyard of their old house, saying she first noticed him coughing and becoming more and more lethargic. But efforts from the pharmaceutical pet company Anavive could change the way the illness is treated. Luckily for us, you know, when we ran the clinical studies, we showed efficacy um, across three different dose levels in dogs. And it, it was 100% effective at preventing clinical disease in these animals. Founder and CEO of Anavive, Dylan Ball, says this is a project seven years in the making. Ball says while there are fungal treatments, they're not permanent. And the key is to create a more long-term solution like a vaccine. Ball says the vaccine is set to be released and approved for canine use in the next nine to 12 months. You may be asking yourself why dogs are first in line for the vaccine. Ball says it's due to dogs sharing similar symptoms to humans. Dogs are used a lot of times um, sort of as an analogy for people when it comes to human health care, since they get all the same diseases. They get diabetes, cancer, valley fever, obviously, and at a much higher rate. Aside from those asking balls when the vaccine will be available for people, multiple zoos from both Arizona and California have reached out. He says as of now, they're waiting on approval from the USDA for animal use and then later be approved by the FDA for human use. For animals and people who are currently affected by valley fever, Ball says they are currently unsure how the vaccine would benefit them, but hope to create a solution in the future. Cooley says while it's unfortunate that this vaccine may not benefit Michael now, the progress he's shown throughout the years is enough for her and recounts a moment where Michael started to show true progress. The vet walked in the waiting room and he growls at her. No one else in the room but her. She sat down beside him and she, he growled and I said, oh no. He was feeling better then. You know, he wanted to, he stood up for himself. <laughs> he's ready to fight him now. We're going to get this off you son because it's got to be tight. There. Okay, I know. There. Michael is currently still going through treatment consisting of regular blood work to ensure that the infection doesn't come back. His mom says that although valley fever is a part of him now, it hasn't taken his bright personality. In Oildale, Ruby Rivera, 23 ABC News, connecting you.